Well, JD, on our Facebook page, yes. people need to go to Facebook and look at look for The Wild Show. Yours. And there they'll see a couple of photographs. Yours. That you took yesterday. Yes. So do, do you want to start by explaining these, these photographs and how we came across them? Well, we tripped over them. <laughs> I think that's... The, we were trying to find where these uh, um, this lost weekend was going to be. Yes. And we were lost as well. So we, we, we were actually right and doing the right thing. At the, it wasn't the weekend, though. It was the... Well, I, I think the weekend starts starts on a Wednesday. <laughs> Does it? I don't see anything wrong with that. Oh, right. OK. <laughs> and so uh, the... Well, where where we landed up, we were trying to look for one which is which is supposed to be. I can't remember where it was. Well, it's supposed. To, I've got I've got, got the map over, over here, yes. and it's it's very central. It's very central next to this map. This is the this is the art map, Calada's map. I think that I, I think they've been involved in other bits as well, but it's it's mostly the art they seem to be featuring on this version of the map, and it shows a smile in Bartholomew Street, basically mm. because that's as far towards the river as it goes but before, we, you, before you land in there well no they haven't shown <laughs> well on the other one like the cardboard arcade which is down by the quay that's shown as in Collin mm. and Crescent mm -hmm. but I, I guess people will just get there and ask but it's not in Bartholomew Street is it we no it was in the, I think it's the bottom of 4th Street is that 4th Street yeah, for, yeah. Well, um, well New Bridge Street is, is it? it it's officially called New Bridge Street I don't know. In fact, it's 35 it's all street. It's all high street to me. <laughs> well, OK, yeah, the, the high street. If people are in the high street... Yeah, just go down the high street and Go towards going the down. river. Yeah, it's on the right-hand side as you go down. And you'd down. think you were in 4th Street and in, then in New Bridge Street. Yes. And then there's Bartholomew Street east or west, but it's not... It's sort of right angles to that, but it's not called Bartholomew Street something else, the other side. That's got another name. How to be confused. Well, it's very confusing. Yes. But at least we've taken a photograph of it. The old curiosity shop comes into the photograph, doesn't it? Mm. People may know where that is. Mm -hmm. Or the peace shop. But basically, keep going down towards the river. Yeah, it's opposite, should we say, so opposite a nice tea room. How about that? <laughs> well, yes, but that could, that could be anywhere in Exeter, JT, to be, be fair. Well, about, it's yeah. the only one in... The, well, there's one, well, it's the only, only one, one down the bottom, there. Right down the bottom, yes. yes. That's so what I'm talking yeah, about. Yeah, it's, it's the opposite side to the, to the tea mm. room. Yeah. And it's... It didn't look that open, did it? No, and it looks a bit sort of... Um... <laughs> well, Dodo Photo, they have their blind down. Yeah. And indeed, it's only going to be open between 7pm and 10pm. Right. But that is on Friday, Saturday and Sunday. Three hours, so not, not a lot of time to go see it. Well, three hours, I think that... Well, oh. I don't know. It's going to be animated prints projected, drawn uh -huh. by Catherine Cartwright. All oh, right. And uh, so, so there's, more, there's more information you can find out about it. Mm -hmm. But at least we found that spot, and I think the whole the whole thing is going to be quite well worth exploring. What was the other one? Coral Cuisine. We couldn't find that one. It's a restaurant somewhere in the Guildhall. Mm -hmm. I think you've got a book before they'll tell you exactly where it is. Oh. And the other thing I don't know is um, Zion Train. I think they're going to be in the Phoenix, but when? I don't know. And then they're going to be in the Guild Hall, maybe in the open air? And that I don't know. <laughs> so if so anybody you just knows, don't know? No, well, we don't know. I know this is it's the not wild the show. Not, you know, no, show. it's not the We Don't Know show on a <laughs> Tuesday, but it might as well be. Yes. It might as well be. Yeah. Um, because uh, there's no... there's no sort of, Perhaps there is no timed performance. Perhaps they've still got to work that out. Mm. Do you think? Well, there's a big pamphlet we, we have in the studio. It's massive. It's called The Lost Weekend, and it's a festival programme. The festival programme? And that's what I think you should go for, because that would tell you what's happening on each of the days. Well, yeah, but it just says, um, buy your wristband for £25, mm -hmm. and there's lots of venues, it says, including Zion Train. But it, and, it, and it sort of indicates Zion Train are going to be in the Phoenix, but I don't think they're in the main auditorium. They may be upstairs somewhere, but that seems a bit weird to me. But I, I, I may have got that wrong. But that's, that's as, you know, just for example, that's as much as I can discover. Hmm. Maybe it'll all become clear. If somebody would like to, to put information on our Facebook page during the show... There is a, web, a website called www.lostweekend.co.uk. Well, look, later on, hmm. J.D., we'll just try and, exp try and just, just try and find someone on train. 
right. as an example. But we won't we won't go off there now because no. I want you to um, explain uh, Dusty Bin. <laughs> First of all, I'll just. Um, <laughs> I'll just, did, I'll just did, you, how, did you get the link I sent you? I did. I did. <laughs> they they explained it very and nicely. And that's, that's, the, um, that's the, 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 the YouTube... The original, clip. yes. Yeah. And I put that YouTube clip on, on our Facebook page oh, right. as well, so people right, know what, what, what we're talking about. Right. But before that, they need to, to look for... Um, bin. Go onto YouTube and search on Bins, Alexa and Exeter, and you'll find a link to um, a talk at Like Minds last Friday. Because there was a, there was um, a speaker there from from Amazon who spoke about Alexa, and then was asked who they would like to work with, and they mentioned councils and bins, and I'm I'm trying to get um, Exeter City Council to to respond to that. Maybe put a comment on the YouTube clip. Um, could, could Kareem Hassan, but I I can see from the Express and Echo he's, he is very busy, because uh, there's a lot of lot of information there about the. Princess say development in the bus station and all of those things going on. So I, I understand he's, he's busy and responding to Alexa may not be top top priority at the moment. But um, we spoke about this on on Tuesday in the we, in the We Not Know show, and you were listening, JD, and you like you liked the bit where we said um, we not only wanted uh, Alexa to tell us which day to put the bin out, we wanted a, a sort of robot bin that would put itself out. Yeah, definitely. I, I want a robot to go and get my coffee right now. <laughs> well, we can't we can't arrange that, JD, because we're not allowed coffee in the studio no, no. because of all the wonderful equipment we've got <laughs> and the danger of spilling it, spilling it. But you were reminded of Dusty Bin. Yes. And the the video clip that you've suggested uh, has uh, a, a mobile bin. Mm-hmm. So that's more or less what we want. We want, uh, and I would have thought nowadays that that it could be made with much less equipment. Just needs a little chip, maybe in the bottom of it, a few wheels, and if it gets the right uh, message, it will just take itself out through the door, which will open automatically. But I wonder if, if you're really happy with that idea, because you, you have said you're worried about the uh, security with Alexa. Yes, I mean, that's that's the only thing about security. But if if the if that technology is inside the bin, it'd be okay. So you're happy with that idea? Yes. Well, there is a, a Japanese inventor has given a humble house bin a modern twist after designing a movable rubbish basket with the ability to catch items thrown at it. Oh, no. <laughs> Would you like that one? <laughs> well, that sounds good. That sounds good. Eh? So the bin moves about. The moves moves about, on, and, on, and you throw things at and it. You throw <laughs> <laughs> when you're feeling depressed and you want to <laughs> practice your basketball and it's not quite right, <laughs> the bin will adjust it for you. So that's a, a Japanese inventor has come up with that one. So it's, they're on the market. So so it's something to, to bear in mind, really, isn't yeah. it? Yeah. So you you live, you live in the Teenbridge area? Uh, no, believe. South Hams. South Hams? Yes. Oh, well, OK. Do you think the South Hams Council would be interested in, in a voice interface to their information system because it can be quite complicated can't it to know which bin is supposed to be put out this week and what well, colour well, it is in Southampton it's easy because they have bags they don't have bags they have bags for the um, recyclable things and uh, your compost useful things goes into a brown bin and your rubbish goes in the grey one so you've got three things three things yes but it comes on two different two different da- weeks so, so do you ever get confused about this uh, all the time. I get confused about everything, so don't worry about that one. Now, but I've got very good neighbours. They know exactly which, which day of the week it is. I just look out oh. my bathroom window and they've got the right ones. It is a quite a bind because, um, you know, you've got to rem- one of those jobs which uh, never get done <laughs> until late in the evening. No, so if you did have Alexa or, or you had a bin that spoke... And the bin said, it's Tuesday, J.D., <laughs> uh, it's time to take me out. No, uh, I, 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 just, I, just want, I, I just want the bin to come to the back door. And you want it to do it? Knock on the itself. door and say, hi, bin day, and go out to the bin. OK. <laughs> Very nice and polite. OK. So you don't, you don't necessarily need the voice interface, you just want it all working? No, right? just, just, you know, it, it has its own... Um, recycling map inside it right so they know which one to go out right okay well that's, that, that sounds perfect <laughs> it's good, isn't it? 
OK, well, we might get in touch with the South Hams as well. Because they might park themselves in the right places. Well, well they would. Of course, yeah. they would know. <laughs> they would know where to go and how to yes. park. Yeah, and they wouldn't block the uh, hi- the um, pathways, like here. No. <laughs> well, look, JD, I, you can't be in, in Exeter at the weekends, can no. you? But I'm going to go to the Accelerator Showcase... Extra City Futures are doing um, a showcase at Broadwalk House on Saturday between 10 and 5 and I will take our idea Mm -hmm. and see if there are some more technically minded people Mm -hmm. who would invest in a prototype. It would be very good for the elderly because I I saw the other day when I was uh, I parked up to go into a shop there was this lady struggling with a big wheelie bin yeah and uh, she was managing okay but I did offer my services I said would you like my muscles here <laughs> I said she said no I'm fine thank you very much but I could see it be very helpful for the old and elderly people you know? well, I think anybody who forgets. <laughs> it's not well I don't know I can't I suppose I'm maybe it's well, just if you're lying up in hospital and you don't have to worry about oh, things oh, well, well yes no, if, if, if you can't be way. there Brilliant if you can't idea. be there yeah I think it would be good well because I think um, they're, they're part of this lost weekend and they are concerned about the environment recycling mm. and mm-hmm. energy all these things they might be interested I should, I should go and see if we can build that into a a business idea that somebody would uh, support and if there are other local authorities listening, mm-hmm. or other uh, uh, engineering types, we would we would like to know. You can get get in touch on the on the face Facebook page. So now I'm going to play um, play a track by the Black Tabs, and uh, they they are expected in Devon quite soon, and they they've got a new uh, well it's a vinyl a vinyl release called Tooth and Nail, and this this track is called Out on the Hunt.